strategies. Uh, Rick Tyler, it is great to see you. I, I saw you uh, speaking you. earlier today, thank you, with my colleague Anna Cabrera about this very thing. It was like, can we please see if he's available to come on uh, in the seven o'clock hour? Because I, I felt you, your, 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 your pain through the, through the TV. I'm just going to let you talk a little bit because you are a longtime Republican strategist. You, in theory, understand this party. But can you explain to me why the people who are running against Donald Trump can't seem to just cleanly say, other than a couple of them, that what he did was wrong and anti-democracy and anti-American? Yeah, you know, we somehow shifted uh, from this ethics of right and wrong to right and what you can uh, get away with. And I think that Donald Trump typifies that. I think that uh, DeSantis' response was particularly weak. One, you know, he's, he's reviewing the indictment that he didn't even bother to read. And they ought to read the indictment because it's well written. When you re when you read the indictment, it is well written and well put together. Um, and it begins by some legitimate um, questioning of the election. And you can do that. You can do it through public yep. speech. You can do it through lawsuits. You can do it through recounts and audits. But they exhausted all those. And that's where the, the that's where Trump left uh, reality uh, and engaged in, in criminal behavior. And it's very well laid out. What, what's absurd about the uh, the indictment is, as you read it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't pass for a B movie script. You'd get thrown out of a producer's office if you tried to sell this as a script. Yet, this is what really happened because the whole elector scheme was just so harebrained. And it's really kind of frightening how far it actually got. Uh, and it had really serious consequences uh, and still does. And people need to re read that because the difference between us and a banana republic or Russia or any uh, dictator or despot. Uh, is understanding that we live in a, a system that is hangs by a thread of the trust of the American people on our institutions, including our law enforcement, including the FBI, and including our elect election system. But you'd really have to be uh, deranged and deluded to believe that there's a conspiracy large enough to have uh, turned the elections. So they want to have it both ways. They want to say that Biden is incompetent, but he apparently pulled off the most comprehensive election theft uh, in American history or world history and left no trace of evidence because, remember, 60 cases, 60 court cases were filed and no credible evidence was ever uh, presented. Unfortunately for the Republicans now, this whole uh, event turns into, uh, it's going to just exhaust the, the media time because the whole yeah. election will now be about whether Donald Trump spends a term in the White House or spends a term in the big house, uh, because there's no other alternative. None of the other candidates will get a chance to, to compete. And that's what we're, we're faced with. And uh, it's, it, look, if, if there were, I wouldn't be tempted by this, but one could be tempted by saying, uh, you can elect a criminal and a rapist, uh, but you get all these great policies like balanced budgets and smaller government and lower taxes and a controlled border and a lower deficit with China and uh, smaller debt. But we didn't get any of those things with Donald Trump, nor will yeah. we. And so I, I don't really understand the upside. And from a raw political perspective, Joy, not just the, the policy perspective, what has Donald Trump brought since 2016? He's brought the yeah. loss of the House, the loss of the Senate, just losing, 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 losing. I just don't understand how they uh, want to keep uh, perpetuating uh, this man who's mentally deranged. And the thing is, is that part of it is, I think, a fear of the electorate, right? I mean, seven in 10 Republicans, at least according to the New York Times Santa poll, want the Republican Party to fight for Trump and not to oppose him. And I think they're afraid uh, of those voters. But do you understand where those voters are coming from? Because they lived through the Trump administration, too, but their perception of it is so different. And also, by the theory that they're supporting, Kamala Harris could simply cause Joe Biden to remain president simply by throwing out electors. And I'm not sure that the base of the Republican Party is understanding where their theory ends. It ends with Kamala Harris deciding who the next president is. And I don't think they want that. Yeah, people, <laughs> well, people, people should read the indictment for no other reason is they'll get a great civics lesson. Trump should read it because then he might understand exactly how he was um, unelected as president uh, in a very legal way. Um, look, look it's, it all comes down to leadership. Sometimes you just have to tell the truth, and the the, the uh, voters will, will punish you for it. But in the end, you got to live with yourself. And I just don't understand these people who know the truth. Donald Trump knows the truth. And by the way, Joy, 
if you, if you read the indictment, there's actually a lot of good news in the indictment. There's a lot of people, good people, who stood up to this and said no. People who yeah. supported Trump, including elected officials in Arizona, including elected officials, including the Secretary of State and the Governor of Georgia, including elected officials uh, in Wisconsin, uh, including people in Trump's own administration, including people in the FBI, the Justice Department, and including people in Trump's own campaign. A lot of people did the right thing. Uh, Trump did the wrong thing, and six co-conspirators uh, also did the wrong thing. Uh, and I think they should pay uh, seriously for it, because uh, it's a very dangerous thing of, of what they've done. And, and if they were successful, they would have effectively destroyed our country. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate you coming on and talking about this. Uh, and we will see. Hopefully, uh, your party will somehow revive itself uh, and return to a respect for the rule of law. We shall see. Rick Tyler, thank you, sir. Very